Hey t-shirt fanatics, this is Rick with 613 Originals. Today I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to prepare your artwork for our custom screen printed heat transfers. Adobe Illustrator is a giant in the digital design industry and there are a wealth of resources and videos available online in order to turn yourself into a master. Launching Illustrator will show our home tab with recent documents and some preset options but there's also a Learn tab that can cover some basic to advanced tutorials. A great resource if you are rusty or just getting started. For this tutorial, we are selecting Create New and plugging in the dimensions for our single image program. 12.75 inches by 9 inches. This also happens to be our second largest gang sheet. We can then select Portrait or Landscape. For this design, we will select Landscape, skip our bleed settings, and then hit Create. Today, we are going to be making a simple two-color design with text and a graphic. Using the Type tool and clicking in the center of our page will add our text. I can then change the font and resize by grabbing a corner and moving it. Holding Shift will constrain our proportions. Adobe offers a huge font library, of which we are going to use this fun script font, Caprizant, and then add a snowflake I downloaded from an online library earlier. We can then quickly assign colors to our design. For one, two, or three color prints, you can use colors approximate to our stock color options. But the best method would be to assign the true Pantone colors. We can access the Pantone library by opening our swatch window, which can be found under Window, Swatches, selecting the Flyout button, Open Swatch Libraries, Color Books, and selecting Pantone Solid Coded. If using our unlimited color transfers, the Pantone Color Bridge coded. These new colors will show up in our swatch window. This is the best way to communicate colors to our staff for color accuracy. Now that we have this file prepared, I am going to save a working version in case we need to revisit and edit. Now that is saved, we can make the final preparations. First, we need to convert our text to outlines to ensure it opens well for our artist at 613. There are a few ways to do this. We can right click and select Create Outlines, or with our text selected, we can navigate to our Type menu and click Create Outlines. And lastly, we can use a keyboard shortcut Shift Control O for Windows or Shift Command O on Mac. I will click there this time. I'm going to save this as a PDF for upload to our website. And just like that, our file is print ready for our two color single image program. Now that we have done a single image, let's prepare a gang sheet. We have four gang sheet options available and you will determine which is best for your project. A good rule of thumb is highest volume of the smallest sheet. For this example, we are going to stick with our 12 and 3 quarter by 9 inch sheet, the second largest gang sheet we offer. Gang sheets give you the option to fit as many images as you can on the same sheet. They do not have to be the same image or even the same size. In this example, we are going to arrange a left chest design and a full back design onto this gang sheet. This text has already been converted to outlines. Our advertised dimensions are your live print areas, so we can squeeze every available inch out of our sheets. I can manage two up on the full back and front. If I had anything else printing these colors, I would squeeze it in. Now as long as I have left enough room for me to cut these apart when I receive them, we can save this print ready file for upload to our gang sheet program. In the description below, we've included a link to our two color single image program as well as our gang sheet programs. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, thank you for watching.